The average American eats 22 teaspoons of added sugar every single day of their life on average. Are you one of these people? Do you eat less than that or more? Do you have any idea? The American Heart Association says that adults should eat less than six total teaspoons of added sugar every day. I would opine that we should eat even less than this. In this video, I'm gonna tell you 13 unlucky things that eating too much sugar does to your body. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience. Stick with me to the end of this video so you can learn all 13 unlucky things that sugar does to your body and you can maybe even decide to avoid it. Added sugar is definitely the worst sugar of all, but even naturally occurring sugar adds up towards your total sugar intake each day. I'm going to pop up a graphic here from a friend of mine that shows the amount of sugar in seemingly natural and normal foods. This is not even counted the added sugar that really goes above and beyond the pale. All 13 of these things that I'm going to talk about that sugar does to your body are definitely unlucky and unwanted and unneeded. But the last two, I think, really might surprise you. A lot of people are not talking about these two things. Unlucky thing number one is weight gain. Yeah, obesity. If you eat too much glucose and fructose, which is what sucrose or table sugar is made of, your body's gonna store that as fat. That's just the way we're designed physiologically. Uh, this is not a belief, this is not a fad, this is just how human physiology works. Eating too much sugar is going to promote fat storage, which is the weight gain that you hate. Number two is a very unlucky thing, and that's an increased risk of heart attack. And so anytime you're eating a high carbohydrate diet that's full of sugars, whether added or natural, you are chronically spiking your blood sugar through the day, which chronically spikes your insulin level and also leads to uh, inordinate amounts of inflammation in your body. Having chronically high blood sugar, chronically high insulin, and chronically high levels of inappropriate inflammation is the perfect storm that increases your risk of having a heart attack even at an early age. Unlucky thing number three is hypertension. Now, many experts out there in, in, in healthcare and nutrition blames too much salt for hypertension or high blood sugar, but actually the biggest culprit is too much sugar. When you eat a high sugar diet, as we said earlier, you're spiking your blood sugar, you're spiking your insulin, and you're causing inappropriate amounts of inflammation. When you have chronically high blood sugar and chronically high insulin levels, it causes you to have fluid retention or to hold extra inappropriate fluid that you wouldn't otherwise hold on to. That raises your blood pressure. It actually looks like it's gonna turn out as re new research comes in that eating a diet high in sugar is much more likely to give you hypertension than eating a diet high in salt. Unlucky thing number four is type two diabetes. Uh, there's reams of research in the data that show that eating a high sugar diet is going to increase your risk of ultimately developing type two diabetes. Now this is not even including prediabetes or chronic hyperinsulinemia, which you can have for up to 10 years before you're ever diagnosed with type two diabetes. Unlucky thing number five is high triglycerides, sometimes astronomically high. This always comes from eating a high sugar diet. It never comes from eating fat in your diet. That's not what causes high triglycerides. Having high triglycerides is a, is a risk factor for having heart attack and stroke. So you definitely wanna get your triglycerides down to normal by eating a low carbohydrate, low sugar diet. Number six on this list is fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is absolutely caused by eating too many uh, sugars in your diet, too much fructose in your diet. This fructose most uh, often comes from drinking soft drinks and eating processed high sugar foods, but also for some people, just the high fructose in drinking lots of fruit juices or fruit juice smoothies can also lead to fatty liver disease. Uh, actually, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is quickly becoming the most common cause of liver failure and being on the liver transplant list in the United States. Unlucky thing number seven is cavities. Yeah, dental caries in your teeth, having rotten teeth is 100% caused by a diet that's high in sugars and high in grains. Uh, indeed, in populations that don't have sugar in their diet and don't have grains in their diet, 
they have no cavities whatsoever in, in their teeth. And so if you've got a young one who's having lots of cavities when they go for their dental checkups, get rid of the sugars and get rid of the grains. That's 100% of the cause of cavities in the teeth. Unlucky thing number eight is sleep disturbances. And so after you eat that high sugar breakfast or high sugar lunch, the first sleep disturbance is that you're somnolent. You're like this, you're like, oh, I need to take a nap. That's a sleep disturbance because if you take naps during the day, it absolutely interferes with getting good quality sleep at night. Sleep disturbance number two is that when you eat a high sugar evening meal, you're not going to spend as many hours in deep restful stages of sleep as you would otherwise. And you're gonna awaken two or three times that night that you would not have awakened otherwise, thus destroying, destroying your sleep architecture for each night that you eat a high sugar supper or dinner. Unlucky thing number nine is increased rates and severity of depression and anxiety. Many people have no idea that their diet is intimately related to their mood and their mental health. More and more emerging research is coming out showing this to be absolutely the case. Anytime you eat a high sugar diet, you're increasing your risk of clinical depression or clinical anxiety disorders. And lucky thing number 10 is gout. Actually, there's quite a bit of research that eating a high sugar diet, a diet high in fructose, is going to lead to chronically high levels of inflammation and insulin. Both of these are intimately re related to developing gout. Don't avoid meat if you've been diagnosed with gout. You've got to cut the sugar and the inflammatory foods out of your diet. Unlucky thing number 11 is kidney stones. Yeah, once again, well, many of us are told that eating a diet rich in meat or high in fat is increasing your risk of kidney stones. Nothing could be further from the truth. The research clearly shows that a high carbohydrate, high sugar diet causes inflammation and hyperinsulinemia, which ultimately leads to your kidney stones. Unlucky thing number 12, and this is one of the one of the ones that I told you you might not believe earlier in the video, is accelerated aging. Yeah, who wants that? Not me, not you. So anytime you eat a high sugar diet, it, there's actually research that shows that you're shortening your telomeres, which are very important ends on the end of each chromosome that seem to be part of our biological clock that tells us how fast or how slow to age. You wanna have very long telomeres and eating a high sugar diet is going to shorten them. And finally, unlucky thing number 13, migraine headaches. Many migraineurs have no idea that their diet is very, very closely related to how often they have migraines and how severe their migraine headaches are. More and more research is emerging showing that if you're a migraineur, you suffer from frequent and severe migraine headaches, cutting the sugar and the grains out of your diet is going to give you much, much uh, less frequent migraine attacks. And when you have one, it'll be much less severe. Now I've got YouTube videos about each one of these 13 unlucky things on this YouTube channel. And in the show notes of each of those videos, I've got the research links actually in that. So whichever one of these unlucky things applies to you or you really want to avoid, and you'd like to see the research to back up what I'm saying, just go to my YouTube channel. There's a little uh, uh, magnifying glass icon. Click that and type in whatever you'd like to see and you will find that video and then the research is in the show notes of that video. Please help me reach other people who are suffering from these 13 unlucky things that a high sugar diet causes. You can do that by hitting the thumbs up, by leaving a comment, or by sharing this video with someone that you care about who suffers from one of these unlucky things. If you haven't already done so, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it so that you can enjoy my weekly videos. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.